hey guys hope you're doing well uh today i'm going to just uh, uh show you guys my uh, brand new expulse 200 uh, which is a bs6 version and i got it about uh, two months ago and uh, yes i got the cb350 highness for about uh, 15 days ago so you guys must be wondering uh, why i have uh, expulse here uh, when i already have cb350 or the either ways so guys uh, these two bikes are uh, very different uh, in terms of their uh, capability so uh, first i would like to talk a little bit about the expulse why expulse right so uh, expulse uh, uh, from uh, what we all know and uh, what we all have heard about is an excel excellent uh, off-roading uh, tool per se right you can uh, take this bike literally anywhere you know into the trails and uh, into the jungle into the mountains etc and uh, and when you are especially riding this bike uh, in the city due to its high uh, you know uh, shock absorber length and height of the shock absorber it's it is awesome in terms of absorbing the undulations on the road right so from that point of view it's an amazing uh, but if i compare side by side with cb350 it's a different uh, it's made for different purpose guys so one can not really uh, compare this bike with this bike because it's totally uh, made to different uh, use case um, because expulse being a complete uh, off-roading uh, tool and uh, take it anywhere kind of bike um, yes you can tour a little bit on that bike also uh, because i have uh, tested the cruising speeds on this expulse and yes i was able to cruise uh, at 100 kmph uh, quite continuously for say five six hours so it was not really a challenge from that point um, yes i've done a few mods on this bike i've gone ahead with uh, mad dog uh, leds uh, ox lamps which is 40 plus 40 watts uh, with the wiring harness and uh, a switch uh, positioned here with this uh, mobile charger and uh, yeah got the seat uh, done um, by increasing the width of the seat by one inch for uh, long riding comfort especially when you're riding many many kilometers and this is the setup for the top box what i have put so top box just uh, sits on this and uh, yeah so yes somebody uh, if you are one who is wanting to uh, have uh, a bike which can uh, be your adventure tourer kind of a thing uh, at a budget of 1.5 lakhs so this is something what you can consider um, along with uh, bikes like Himalayan, Expulse and uh, yeah as you go up the lineup uh, it gets better and better and uh, more expensive uh, to an extent of Tiger but if you are somebody who is beginning to start riding off-roading or learn off-roading love to ride in the trails yeah this is a good one to have uh, in your garage so that's about expulse and um, yeah so cp350 on the other hand is totally a different tool yes it's amazing to ride this bike in the city uh, and uh, highway also uh, especially uh, cruising beyond 100 it's a easy going easy going motorcycle with respect to the riding dynamics yes uh, um, a lot of you uh, have asked questions to me uh, on my channel about uh, the suspension stiffness so guys uh, when i compare uh, uh, with any of my bikes 
suspension on CB350 is a bit definitely on the stiffer side but it's not as bad as it starts bothering me so of course when um, in X-Pulse for example if I am riding at uh, 60, 70, 80 and if there is a speed breaker I can just jump over it and just go and not feel about not feel a bit but I cannot do that in uh, CB350 because it's totally a uh, different setup, different chassis, different uh, design and uh, purpose for which it's built is also totally different. So, uh, so uh, in terms of uh, ensuring that you get a plush ride and a stable ride, ensure your tire pressures are set correctly on the bike. The front recommended is 29 and back is 33 if you are solo and 36 if you are riding with a pillion so uh, yes uh, uh, of course uh, if you are going to hit a speed breaker or a crater at uh, 60 70 80 you might feel uh, the undulations on the road uh, definitely and uh, yes if this particular shock absorber had a gas charge reservoir probably the damping could have been better i felt just like uh, what is there on this bike this part so that's made to ensure uh, bike gets a better damping effect so probably honda could have uh, add, added that uh, type of shock absorber for the rear one but front i cannot just complain it's absolutely good and uh, and by the way uh, guys uh, the shock absorber brand uh, what is there in this bike is showa which is a Japanese brand and it's a very renowned brand so from that point of view Honda has not made any compromises in terms of quality uh, of hardware uh, what goes into the bike right as you see the calipers are all Nissan and which is the best in class uh, yeah so uh, that's a quick uh, um, uh ownership uh, sort of a perspective or review between my uh, x pulse and uh, cb350 hey guys thanks for watching and uh, please let me know your thoughts views and uh, comments thank you so much and have a wonderful day